Hi, and welcome back to a pretty freaked out Finders Beepers History Seekers. So I am about to make my way up the hill behind me through these woods and to a big mansion. Now I am down, I'm next to the car. The car is just there at the moment. And I'm about to make my way up through these woods, which I can't really, well, I sort of can show you, up to a big mansion. Now, the thing with this mansion is it's owned by a guy that is apparently a nutcase. Every explorer I've spoken to about it has said, do not do that place. Whatever you do, don't do it. So I'm doing it. So let's head off and see what we can find. I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of a nightmare because it's up a big hill. We are pretty close. I've locked that car. I don't know why the lights stay on for so long after you've locked it, but they do. They'll go off in a minute. But yeah, we are right near the center of town. So it is very, very busy, noisy. Cars bombing about down here. But the bit that we're going to up through these woods should be a little bit more secluded, a little bit more, I don't know, just us, hopefully, and no dodgy owner. I can't, I've noticed there's a fence up here and I didn't realise that was there. So we're going to have to get over that next. Right. We're over the barbed wire. And on through the bushes. And I feel like it's been walked down up here before. I don't know whether to turn the torch off in a second. Because I feel like it's only just through here. And although I sort of want to watch you to watch me getting in and stuff, I don't as well, because I don't want to be caught as soon as I get here. So I'll probably see you at the house. Right, there it is up in the distance. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to film, but sometimes using the camera, I can see the red lights of cameras a lot easier. So I'm actually using you to help me. But I think we're all right anyway. I'm just going to make my way straight over there now. I thought I saw something a minute ago. I thought I saw torches at the side of the building, but it could be other explorers. It could be, like I said, there's cars not far from here. So it could be that. But I'm just nervous. That's all. Can you not tell I'm really nervous about this one? I'm tired as well today. It's the end. It's the end of the trip, pretty much. And I've been doing a lot. So I'm ready for a rest. But this has been one that I've been looking forward to for ages, and you know why. Because I like pushing the boundaries, doing things I'm not supposed to. So let's try and get in. I mean, I knew I'd do it. I knew I'd get in this place. And I was told I'd, people didn't think I'd get in, but I have. Now, there is a motion sensor up in that corner over there, but I don't know if it's just like a normal like fire alarm one or something like that. I'll show you, but look at this room we're in to start with. It's huge. Look at this. Look at how high those ceilings are. But yeah, if you look up in that corner there, see the little green light? That's a motion sensor. Now, that for me means, even if it is only for something like, look, it's flashing red now, I'm moving. If it is linked up to something, that means I need to crack on and get looking round. But look at it in here. Look at this fireplace for a start. It's like brass or copper. It's lovely. And then this. Look for your newspapers and you sit here on a Sunday morning and read your papers with the big shutters. How are places like this still empty? How are people not doing things to them? Look at this as well. It's all been smashed, but it's like, I've never seen one like that before. There's glass with metal on the inside of it. That's brilliant. Right, like I said, can't spend too long in each room. Need to have a proper look round. Oh, wow. Oh, I've seen loads of barometers recently. Look at that one, that's massive. So big. I don't know what it is about people needing to know what it's like outside. Just look outside. And if you want to know what it's going to be like this afternoon, I suppose in the 1800s you couldn't look on Google, could you? But you know what I mean? 
Just risk it, it's fine. Now this was the grand entrance way. And looking through here, I thought I'd cut my leg then. Look, see that? There, that box. I think it's some sort of alarm system. I think they're probably fitting it now, looking at this. They've not finished doing it. But look at this. This is amazing. <gasps> look at the floor. What does this mean? Virilitas. Virilitas. Oh, there's, lo there's loads of them. One V V Entas. Adolescentia. Oh, so adolescence. Is that like more grown up? I don't, I don't know. I've got another one over there as well. And one down there. Oh, it's so good. And there'll be one underneath this mat as well that we're on. And then look at this big chest. And look at that lock that's in it. That's huge. Oh, there's some stuff in here, I tell you. Look at the oh, chest's a bit broken, like. But that's so good. I hate to see it, though. Somebody's been in here smashing things up, and I don't like that at all. I really don't. Look at this fireplace. Thought we heard someone shout then. Yeah, this fireplace is good. I don't know what it's made out of, though. It's freezing cold and solid. I don't know what stone that would be, but it's really good. Really good. Like, can you imagine coming round to, I don't know, your friend's house that lives here and walking in through these doors, all the like amazing, important people that have walked through those doors behind us and walked up those stairs to stay the night or whatever. It's just, it's mind blowing. You just think who those people could be, how important they were. Were they something to do with building the Titanic, for example? Because I think that was, was that Dublin or Belfast? I'm feeling it was Belfast, but I might be wrong. But either way, important people from back in the day came through those doors and went up those stairs. I just think it's brilliant. I'd love to know who they were. Not even the people that lived here, the people that visited and came to stay with them and things like that. It's so good. Now, I am tempted to go straight up those stairs, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cover off the bottom floor. Look up here as well. Look at this. That's the same pattern on there to a big house that I did the other day in Southern Ireland. Because it's very similar to like a swastika. Um, and I was talking about that there as well. But look at this grand entrance door. It's huge and it's very much like um, Greek or something. Is it like classic revival? I'm sure I said that the other day as well. Anyway, we need to keep looking. Keep looking round and see what we can find. Now, I'm not going to go rooting through these boxes. I would rather see what's in here. Oh, wow. Look at it in here. Look at this fireplace for a start. That is huge. It's the same stone as well. I wonder what this dirt is, look. Very brown dirt that's settled all over everything. I wonder what's caused that. And look, is this the, the bell for the maid? Oh, I better put that back on again. Yeah, that, I'm guessing is the bell for the maid to come. Looks like there was another one further down that's broken that they've recovered. And then, is there one at the other side? Yeah, there is. Look at these all set out. Oh, and these have been here years. You can't say these have been put out by explorers because look, it's got that brown, same brown thing on it. If I move that, you see the color of the table underneath. They've been sat like that for years and years since the person who lived here, lived here. And the chair as well, that's got the same stuff on it as well. Oh my Lord. Now, like I said, somebody's been in here smashing things up, but there's not been many explorers in here. You can tell that because people would have been looking through stuff, trying to find out what things are. Look at, look at that. 
the difference underneath there. I don't think these magazines are old. That's a knife. Is that like the first ever iPhone? That looks like the first, it's on 3G. I don't know which one that is. So, yeah, it's not been that long that these have been left. But you can tell there's hardly been any explorers in here because the, if they had, they would have been looking through it. The Russian campaign. But I think what it is, everyone I've spoken to, everyone, apart from one lad that lives around here who helped me get in. Uh, well, he didn't help me come up here. He told me where it was and everything. Everybody is scared to death of this place. I was speaking to somebody down in Southern Ireland and they said they're desperate to come. They just don't do it. And here comes big hard Matt who thinks he's fine to do it. But when I get my head kicked in, I'll be regretting it then, won't I? But this is why I want to hurry up and get round the place. Look at it though, it's so good. Like for me, the things that are in them are always good. But like the thing that sets these places apart from say your little abandoned cottages, is things like the height of the roofs in here, the ceilings in here. Like things like shutters on your windows and oh Lord, that almost went through. I don't really want to be doing that again. Yeah. the big grand doorways and the fireplaces. They're just, just that much better. So amazing. The, the history of these places are just gonna get lost and it's such a shame. Like what was on there? Was it a mirror? Cause you can see the shape of whatever it was. Was it a mirror? Was it an amazing painting? What was it? And look, the things on here as well. This is, this is quite old. This has got some age to it. Little copper and brass, maybe. I'm guessing it's for food, some sort of food. I keep hearing cars and stuff. I can hear a noise in there as well. <gasps> What's in here? <gasps> oh, wow, look at this. Now, I've got to be very careful with these. Look at this. Who is that? And it's on glass. That is glass. I've got to be very, very, very careful when I look at these. Oh, look. I wonder what era that is. So did they put, as far as I'm aware, they used to put them onto glass like that. And then somehow that glass then moved them over onto like a normal photograph. Now, when are these bits of paper from, I wonder? Well, they've got gramophones on. So maybe 40s. Oh, Graves Limited, Sheffield. Come all the way over to Ireland and there's a newspaper advertising gramophones from Sheffield. That's, that's crazy. Now I'm only gonna get a few more of these out. I'm not gonna get them all out because I have to, in oh look, in fact, some of them are ruined. I will wrap them up again before I've done, but there's nothing in that one, nothing in that one. Oh, look at this guy. Right. <gasps> look at him. That is amazing. It's like he's almost stood there. He's like 3D. That's brilliant. I'll do one more. Oh, 1920 something. April 11th, 1920. Let's have a look. Let's find one last one. And then that is it. I feel bad though, I really want to look through them all. But then I think, like they've been sat in here for ages, that's cracked, look. Can't really see that. Go on, one more, one more. And then we'll wrap these up and put them away. Last one. Yeah, look. It's got to be good though. If it's not good, like, that's no good. One more, come on, one more. <laughs> We're we'll gonna be here all night, aren't we? This looks like a good one. That's outside here. That is definitely 100% outside here. Look at the ghostly faces. That is so freaky. Right, I'm gonna wrap these back up again and put them away, but that is amazing. Right, they're all back up in the newspapers. Look, they've got bits and bobs of cutlery under there. Plates and pictures and 
a cheese with a mouse sticking out of it. These are all the general things that would have been in the house for the last family that lived in here. But I think finding, oh, look at that, felt lined. But yeah, finding something like those that link directly back to this house is unbelievable. Just imagine those people walked around these rooms from room to room. Oh, what is this? Is it a radio? Oh yeah, a little old radio look. Hey, up. Golden pages. We get the uh, yellow pages in England. Why do they get golden pages? And then this little dog bookend. That's really nice because that stone, that's proper stone. That's really good. Cam oh, it's a pie radio. Cambridge Pie, England. And then all the different stations on there as well. Oh, there's a cellar. I love a good cellar. Right, so that's... Wait a minute. Have we, we've not been in this one, have we? We'll go down the cellar after we've been in here. In fact, there's loads of little bolt holes and pictures and all sorts. I'm just very aware of how long I'm being in each room. That's the thing. Now this looks like a bit of a... Oh! Oh! Something weird went... Oh my Lord! Right, I've got to be careful in here because look at this floor down here. Everything's fallen through the floor. I heard a noise there. I thought someone would come in there, but I don't think they are. Yeah, everything's fallen down through the floor there. So that means I need to be careful in the cellar as well. I don't know what the floors upstairs are going to be like. But yeah, look, oh God, it's all cracking under my feet. Look at this over here. Once again, need to be mega, mega careful. That's that table. It's just fallen down through there, look. Now, I don't think this goes directly down to the cellar looking at it. It just goes under the floorboards, which is good. An old tape deck and a tennis racket. Some... Uh, 70s stuff, 80s stuff by the looks of things. Right, let's head on into the next room that we've not done yet. Go down one of these side bits maybe behind the stairs. Look at the floor. That is so good. You see, this is a thing like, what new big houses these days have got workmanship like that? Like the banisters, the floors, the ceilings, everything, like every last detail was thought about. And now it's just, let's make it as plain as we possibly can. And they're all the same and boring. It's just, I just don't get it. I really don't. Oh, I'm scaring myself to death now. That was my bag. Oh, bloody hell. What an idiot I am. Right. Let's look behind these stairs. Yeah, look at the banisters. See, this is the thing, look. You're focusing walking up the stairs. You don't really look at things like, like these little twists and stuff. They're not really important, but it's just the difference between quality and, and plain, boring nothingness. But yeah, look, all the books and things like that are all shoved in boxes. I'm guessing they've been round the house and just emptied every room, put all the personal effects in here, whoever took on this place, the crazy owner, Christmas Carol. Yeah, these are all looking like books from maybe the 30s, 40s or something. I don't mean all of them, but I mean those in there. Although that says 1978, so you're not very observant, are you, Matt? And then some pictures. What's this door? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. For a start, what is... What is this? Oh, look at this. Don't know what that says. Does that say varnish? And that says, is it blackening? They're ink wells, aren't they? And then that says shot. What is, what is this? Don't understand what it is. I thought it was something to do with like drawing or writing, powder. <gasps> Oh no, this is for a gun. This is for a gun. So look, you've got your little powder keg. So you'd fill up that up with powder. 
gunpowder. This one would be a shot. That's why it says shot on there. I don't know about old guns, but I'm sure that says varnish and that says blackening. And I've heard of black powder, but I would have thought that would have been the powder bit. I think it's for a gun. It's the only thing I can think. Oh, look. Colonel W. L. Orkinlech. W Colonel W. L. Orkinlech. Right. You guys out there that like doing your research, find out who he is for me. Find out as much information as you can, because that is brilliant. Look at the stuff in there. I'm going to put it back away again. But that is so, so good. Now, looking in this cupboard, looking here, you've got a big set of golf clubs. You've got, I don't know what this is. What does this say? It's like a storage for something, but it looks quite posh. Looks quite interesting. Oh, because it's in a leather case. A leather case with then like a metal bit inside it as well. But I can't read what any of that says. It's too... Oh, is it for fishing? Oh, no, it's for shooting, maybe. It's got a gun. Oh, Lord, I hope I'm not going to get shot. Then you've got a big lamp there, and I'm guessing that went on the top of it. What else we got in here? Old tennis racket. Oh, those tiles are good. Some more there as well. Since when have you been able to get tomato sauce in a jar that big? That'd last forever. And then uh, what's this say here? Um, dilute one part with 20 parts water. Not suitable for consumption, maybe? T.G. Rutledge. Oh, my. I don't know what that is. D.D.T. I thought that were a wrestling move, a DDT. Um, let's have a look. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the same, got the same guy's name on it? What's in here? Oh, oh, wow. Let's get this out. Let's put it somewhere I can look at it properly. Looks like it says darling. I'm not sure. But look in here. Yes, it does say darling. Look at this. I don't know what military uniform that would be from, even. It looks like a sailor's hat. So it makes me think of. But it also makes me think of like. I don't know, because I don't know Irish uniforms. But that literally could be from like the 1920s when the uprising was happening down in Southern Ireland. Yeah, look, G Darling. That is amazing. That is so good. His name on the top there as well. I'm gonna put seal it back up and put it back away. getting into the wrong hands or getting damaged. Right, we've already found some amazing things just round the back of the stairs. Well, I dread to think what's in here. There'll be nothing in here now, you know that, don't you? Or I'll not be able to get in here. How do I open this? Right, let me just work it out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Has that got up? Give me a sec. Right, so I think I've unlocked it, but while I was reaching over to do that lock at that side, I noticed, look, it's the same guy as the gun thing that we found. Now, what's that say? It's got his name again, but what's that say underneath? I can't work it out. Oh, in his killing. Fusiliers? No. Is it? 
in this killing fusel is it? That's what it looks like. Oh no, it's still not coming open. I thought I'd unlocked it, but it doesn't seem to be. Has it got an actual lock on it? I don't know if that, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it open, but I'll try. Right, I can't get in it. I've tried so hard. I'm not gonna break the box, obviously. But I thought it was open. I'm just wondering if it's that central lock that needs doing. But that, it's heavy as well. There's something in it, something big in it. I wonder if it's a gun. It could quite easily be a gun to go with this, which would be unbelievable. But we'll never know. It's like the mystery box. That's crazy. I'm still interested about what this is. What, what this had in it. Oh, wait a minute. Does this top bit come out? Yeah, look. It held something in there as well, in that bottom bit. And then this. This fit on top. What's that say? Southwestern Railway. Oh, that's where it's been taken somewhere previously. And it's been put as like passenger to and from. I want to know what's in there desperately. Really want to know. Anyway, we better keep looking around before anyone comes and disturbs us. I would definitely 100% love to get in that box, but I also think it would be horrendous to break it open because that's the history just as much as the thing that's inside it with the name on top of it. So I would never do that. However, I'm desperate to know what's inside there. Desperate to know. Now I've got lots of very old tennis rackets. So we've done under the stairs. Have we done everywhere downstairs now? Oh, I missed this look. Oh, look. They're foresters. They're in. Um... Is that here? Oh, no, it's not here. Thought that was here then. What's this a book of history about? Oh, images from round here. I walked down that street earlier on um, and went and had a curry. But yeah, these are all round this area. I very much wonder if there's pictures of this place in here. You'd think there would be really. Um, anyway, let's make our way up these amazing stairs. Look at the window at the top of there as well. Oh, and the big star up there. That is wonderful. That is so, so good. I am worried about going up here because I've seen what the floors are like downstairs. Oh, we were going to go in the cellar, weren't we? We'll do upstairs first, because we're halfway up here now. That's the thing, I always worry that we're going to miss something. Say if someone came, um, I hope I'm scared that we're going to miss out on something. I oh, just need to show you these windows while I'm here. I couldn't see it from the bottom. It looked like it was just plain glass like that, well, patterned glass like that. Now, there's glass on the floor here, and there's a hole up there, so it looks like someone's thrown a stone through, which is not good. But if you notice, even though there is things moved about, there's not much vandalism in here. Not much at all, which is definitely a sign of fear from the local kids. However, that's a big footprint there, look. Making its way up the stairs. It's quite worrying, isn't it, really? Now, I think these, would, this floor here, would go under the carpet. It's like hard wearing to go underneath the carpet. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. This is so good. Where to go to next? Oh, it's in... Near perfect condition, this. I, we're used to seeing places like this in England 
that are just trashed. Because I'll say it, this place wasn't particularly hard to get in. So if it was like that in the UK, there'd be spray painting, the place would be on fire for a start. I just, I know this is technically the UK, but you know what I mean, mainland UK. I just think this is mad and I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant that they've got that respect and they're, they're a bit scared. Now, from what I've heard, the guy, I don't know if he owns it or if he's the caretaker for it. He's a bit of a, a nutcase and he's got, should we say, um, ex-military history. Maybe not official military history. I don't want to say it, but I think you know what I'm on about. From what I've read, well, not what I've read, what I've heard from certain people, but you know what it's like with Chinese whispers. <gasps> Look at this. I can't believe this is in this condition. A little bed made up with a massive teddy in it. Oh, look. Look at the tiles and the detail on this fireplace. This is wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. I'd love to have something like that in my house. And that mirror is good as well. Even though there's... Is there a... Has it still got a mirror in it? It seems to have, but I think, because they're like silver backed, aren't they? I think it's gone funny, because I can sort of see my reflection through it, but not really. Now, has this got drawers in it? Some of them did, yeah, I think it has. Oh, it's still look like brown paper lined. I used to get that back in the day. I just always wonder what, what if you found something, because people didn't realize things like that were there. Because a lot of people would look at that and think it was part of the design. But I always look for the hidden drawers. Now there's two chairs down here that are set out. Look, there. Like, someone's just been like having a chill looking out the window. Like, spending a nice summer's like evening watching the sunset or something. Look at this. Look, how they're both pointing with the window open. Looking out the window. I can just imagine... Two lads just having a chill, having a talk, looking out of that. Look at this as well. This is a big piece of furniture as well. I swear I saw a flashing out of the corner of my eye then. I don't know. But this sort of matches with the other bit of furniture we've just been looking at. would love to find something really good in one of these. Like I said, at the back of a drawer hidden away that nobody's been looking at for years and years. It'd be so good. Right, on to the next. Now the next room was a bit boring, so we're gonna bypass that. Cause I think it was just like a bit of a storage room anyway. But then look at this, that's on this chair here. And I feel like that, oh, it's stone. I was going to say I thought it was uh, ivory, but it's very cold. I think it's stone. I thought it was, because you can get that stuff, is it called nigre or something similar to that? And I thought it was that, but I think, I don't know. It's, I don't, is ivory cold? It feels like stone to me, that. don't know. But, oh, look, we've got a little store cupboard. So I'm guessing there feet off big tables, but I don't know what that is. That looks, looks like something you get from Ann Summers. And then you've got your old style soap there as well. I know they're all like, you don't come in these places and think, oh, look, soap. But they're the personal connections. They're the things that people use day to day. I sort of like it because of that. I know I'm a bit weird. I know people like, like the collectibles and I do as well. But I just think something that somebody uses every day as how it had in their hands, that is more of a personal connection than, I don't know, a, an ornament in a cupboard. I don't know, I just, I don't know, you won't put it in a cupboard, you know, like a display cabinet, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think there's more of a personal touch to it, especially if it's soap, it could have been up their arse crack. Anyway, what's in here? 
Oh, another little fireplace. See, a lot of these upstairs rooms, it doesn't seem like there's a great deal in them. But those tiles and that fireplace are brilliant. Again, look, original, probably 1880s tiles. Original um, cast iron fireplace with the little bell. Oh, wait, listen, wait. It's, I can hear it down the corridor. I could hear that then behind me when I did that. So somewhere there's still a bell unit. It's not working because it wasn't dinging, but the wires are running through. What's this? Oh, that's, that's the town. That's where I've just been for my curry down there as well. Same road. What we got in here? This is a ridiculously retro bathroom. Let me just come in and shut this door. Oh, I don't really like shutting the doors behind me. So I'll shut it halfway. But look at this. That is amazing. I sort of hate it and love it all at the same time. Imagine sat having a poo, looking at that. God, if you were taking drugs, you'd be off, absolutely off your bonds, looking at that pattern. I keep thinking I can hear somebody downstairs. Hey, that pattern goes with my eyes. It definitely does. But yeah, I keep thinking I can hear someone walking downstairs, but it's just, I think it's the, like the rumble from the cars and the vans and stuff like that. There's nothing coming past now and I can't hear it anymore. So I reckon it's probably that. The retro toilet. We've got a bathroom. It's quite a nice bathroom actually this. I feel like there's something missing out of here. I don't know what though. Just doesn't seem quite right. Why have they got, I've seen Nessie on the bath. That's a bit weird. Oh. Oh no, I thought that was the uh, Spanish Riding School in Austria then. Because I've been there and it's a similar sort of symbol. But no, it isn't. Oh look, I love this. This is something I absolutely love when you see this. Uh, August 93, September 65, 66. All the way up until, oh look, mum, September 73, 77, six foot. So whoever P is almost made six foot in 1977. Oh look, mummy, granny. These are later as well, look, like 99. All the way back down. God, she was growing quick. From 98 to 99, from age 12 to age 13, she shot up. Huge jump. Massive, massive jump. Look. Oh, no, I was going to say that's, that's from April to September, so it's only going to be small anyway. Right. Let's have a look. But I do like things like that as well. Like I said, it's that personal touch. It's like... Somebody's thought about that every year that they're gonna stand next to it and probably came running, got the pencil out or the pen out, and it's that time of year, let's get measured, mummy. I do it with our Freddy, so I know exactly what it's like. And just to think that they've been doing it from the 60s right through to the end of the 90s. It's sad. It's a it's a lifetime. And now they've gone. It makes me sad. Right, let's head back, back past the teddy and along here. Now I am concerned that there's water getting in here, look. And once that starts to happen, we're done for. I don't know if it is water though. I think it is. It looks like it to me. Have we been in that one? Have we been in here? Yeah, we've been in there, haven't we? So it's this side now. Also, all the plants and stuff are coming through that window. So that's not gonna help things. What the hell is happening in here? So we came upstairs and now there's downstairs, sort of halfway downstairs. 
I'll go and look at that in a minute, but look at these maps. This is like the whole of Northern Ireland on a huge map, all stuck on that wall. I wonder why. I wonder why they've done that. I'm guessing it's out of like a, like smaller maps all stuck together rather than one pre-made one. That's madness. Right, I'll go and look down there in a minute. We'll check off these rooms upstairs first and then we'll look at the upstairs downstairs room. Look in here. Oh my lord, look at it in here. I thought this was going to be the bed. I thought, oh, that's a bit rubbish as we came in. But then, what is going on in here? Why is the half a tree just living on the floor down there? Next to this bed that's made up all night. You know what? I'm tempted to sleep in that tonight because I ain't got a bed for tonight as usual. But I always think how damp and bed buggy are they. I'd rather sleep in the thing. Look. Is it coming in through the window, do we think, up there? And then dropping down. It's all a bit odd, that, isn't it? And it's taking over up there as well. That's crazy. And then you've got little toothbrush and a big grand mirror. It keeps going out of focus, this. And then a chaise lounge. It's so good, this place. It's so, it's so unexpectedly good as well. I had seen photos from the outside and a very short clip, a really short clip on TikTok out of everything it could have been possibly on. I saw it on TikTok and that's how I got talking to the guy that gave me the location and has helped me out absolutely loads. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I'm not going to, but it is appreciated and you know who you are. But literally, it's the only, only person I can see that's been in here and made any sort of footage at all. So, and he only did it downstairs next to the stairs. So I'm amazed. When do you see, in a city centre, when do you see anything like this, in this condition? You just don't. They have to be miles away from anything, like not known by, by anyone. And I was having a curry earlier on. I told you I went for a curry for my tea. Oh, this is good. Is it treen? Is that classed as treen? Oh, is it, a, what is it? Is it soap? Or is it for your, is it for shaving? To like rub your brush in there? Oh, it smells beautiful. Wait a minute. Oh, that smells so good. To say it's been sat on there for God knows how long. But anyway, like I was saying, I went for a curry and I got talking to the owner and a little old couple that was sat in there as well, really nice. And they, uh, the girl behind the, the one, the woman that owned it was telling me about this place. So everybody knows about it. She said, oh, I've never seen anything about it. I drive near it all the time, but I've never really seen anyone go there or know anything about it. So it's weird, but I love it. I love the fact that nobody comes. It's brilliant. I honestly would take that home with me if I could, because it smells utterly beautiful. And I don't often think things like that. I can never go in the lush or um, body shop because it makes my nose go weird. But... Oh, look. Oh, this is that room we were in a minute ago, isn't it? At the top of the stairs. So I wonder if it was maybe a changing room. Although there's wardrobes over there. Or could it be his little study just off the main bedroom so he can go and do his work in here and, and she can do whatever she needs to do. Or the other way around. You just never know. So... Let's, uh, let's keep going. I just can't believe it in here. Look at, just look at that. <sighs> Crazy. That definitely feels weird up here. Look, there's another one of those motion sensor things up there. But I think it must be for something else. Oh, look at the fireplace in here. Another lovely little fireplace. I do love these. I do, I really do. I am sorry I go on about them so much. I just really want one one day. But, yeah, there's not a great deal in here. Some big furniture, little hand sink. I always wanted, like, a bedroom where you've got a sink in your room as well. 
It'd be really good. Not a bath. I don't think I'd want a bath in my bedroom, but a sink would be good. And then this wardrobe is massive. I wonder if there's anything, anything good in it. It's all like paperwork, I think. Yeah, documents. I don't think there's anything of great interest. There's nothing in there either. So we'll move on. I think there's only one more room and then the cellar. Oh, but now I'm disappointed because there wasn't one more room. There's a door, but that door must be in here where we've just been. How did I not see it there? Have a look. Oh, it's because it's behind the wardrobes. Yeah, these are quite crap bottom wardrobes, aren't they? They've been put in in like the seventies. They got rid of one of the doors so they could uh, so they could have that, which is a oh, so that makes sense then. Maybe it is a dressing room because those wardrobes wouldn't have been there. That bed's just huge. It's absolutely massive. Oh my God. I almost forgot the weird upstairs downstairs room. We can't forget that. Imagine, imagine I'd go all the way back home to England and then realized I'd forgotten the upstairs downstairs room. I would have been devastated. Absolutely devastated. You know we're gonna get in here and it's gonna, oh, oh. This is good. This is freaky. This floor is not great. Oh, but I need to get through. I need to get through there though, because it goes on and on. This is like the servants' quarters. I can't miss out on the servants' quarters. I want to see if there's another way around. And if not, I might still have to go that way. I'm not missing out that chunk of the building. Can you get round this way? What are all these things? Oh, this place is massive. They've got like a hidden middle floor. I didn't expect this. So I'm guessing servants, bath and toilet. Not much else in here. And then I wanna know what these boxes are, look. What's it say? Oh, it's Captain. R R A darling. Big D on there. Signals. Palestine. That's so stri Oh my lord. Is it from when the British went into Palestine and changed it to Israel? If it is, that is like what everybody's talking about at the moment is all over the news. And if it's that, that is crazy. Now there's not a great deal in there. I had to stop filming just so I could open it because it's actually really heavy, that lid. But yeah, there's, there's nothing amazing in here. Just some bits of wood and half of a suitcase. I'll put this back down, but there is another, a few more boxes of his around here. Oh God, that's so heavy. It's going to trap my fingers. Look. Another one here. Cloths. I guess maybe clothes. G-R-A. Darling. Queen Elizabeth. Is it something? Temple. London. G-R-A. Darling. London. Wow. Is there anything in this? This one's empty, altogether empty. Oh, oh, it says something on the front. Wait a minute. Oh. Captain RRA, darling. Royal Signals. This one's the same. Oh, I love this. This is like one of my favourite things I've ever done. To find these boxes. Even though they're just boxes. Oh. They're, that's like almost lead lined. Oh. I don't think you understand how heavy this is. I've used two hands. Oh. If it's lead lined, that's why. Oh, what's this sitting on this bed? 
Wait a minute. China command signals. Captain R.R.A. Darling. I'd love to know who this guy is. And who, if he's, if he's a captain, he's got to be quite, he's got to be quite um, important. Now, the, the sad thing is, obviously this was for his travels, going all over the world and stuff. And then they decided to use it to put old curtains in, which is quite, which is quite ironic, really. But what was this here? Yeah, another one there. Another one for Temple in London. Wow. Oh, I didn't realise there were a big one behind me. This one's more crude. Oh. Oh, what, what are these in here? Wait a minute. What are these? Are they just, oh, are they stair rods or something? I don't know what they are, but it smells like petrol, that box. Or diesel or something. Really strong smell of diesel, in fact. That's, that's weird. Why would it smell like diesel? But anyway, let's, um, I'm just gonna get some photographs of these. Is there anything written on the front of this one? Oh yeah, there is, but I can't really read it. I can't really read what it says. It does say something down there. Something royal, something. I'm not quite sure. I'll try and get some photos of it anyway. Right, I've come round this side because I just took a photograph of this and now I can read what it says. It says, something the King's own regi uh, Royal Regiment. But then I can't read what it says underneath. I don't know if it says, it looks like Manchester at the bottom. Or Lancaster, Lancaster. Maybe Lancaster, I think. I have no idea, but then look at the bed it's on. That's mad as well, just by itself. But, also, I noticed this on the end of here. Oh, these should be saved. I'm telling you, these should be saved. Look. Baggage room, not wanted on Voyage. Hold. So, it's not needed. It's not the clothes he's going to be wearing on the boat. It's to go on the hold, in the hold. I think it's amazing. Like, it's not like your normal suitcases, is, that, is it, really? And I just, it's this that interests me. Why? It could be nothing to do with, like, Palestine. The Palestine sort of stuff that's going off now. But it could. I'd love to, I need to do some research into this guy and find out what it is, why he was there, what era he was in the army. See, look, thinking about those on the end of there, that looks like 1940s labels. So it could be. I'm sure it was the 1940s, 1940s, 50s, that it became Israel. So maybe that's why. That would be absolutely unbelievable if it was. However, we've now got a predicament because I thought there was a door down in that corner and there isn't. So that means... I've got to go across that, across that dodgy floor, which I know you're all going to love. Have we been in this? Oh yeah, that was the bathroom, weren't it? You've been in there. Right, fingers crossed for me. Now I'm guessing that goes down to the cellars because that would be all the way down. I think it's weird that there's hidden room, hidden, like a hidden floor though. Imagine if we'd not come down here. It actually seems solid around the edges until it goes crunch and we go falling down. Oh my Lord. This is not, oh. I need to get up here. Oh, oh God. It, uh, this is not the, the best, is it really? Wait a minute. is not the best of ideas that I've ever had. But you only live once and hopefully we only die once but it won't be today. I'm a big lad as well. 
So standing on this lot is just not a good idea. Right, let me have a look in that room first. Yeah, so there's, there's only a few beds in there, I think. It's over here I want to get, but this looks the worst bit. I feel like I could fall down into the cellars if that breaks. Look how far it's already dropped. Oh, Matt, what are you doing? I can't not, though, I can't not. Oh, this is the la pretty much the last day of the trip as well. Oh, my God. It's, I can hear it dropping down to the floor below, and Matt, you could hear my hand shaking on that as well then. I've got to do this, I've got to get over there. I need to know what's in there, and I need to know what's in there. That doesn't look so bad. It's just this bit here where the beam has snapped. If I can get up there, I should be fine. I'm gonna stop filming and do it. So if I start filming again, I'm not dead. Unfortunately, I fell and died. No, I'm here, I've made it across, but that was one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life because things were falling out from underneath. And you know, if there's some stairs down to the cellar here and I could just have gone up those, I'd be absolutely gutted. <laughs> but look, so that's where we've just come across. And it's pretty much ruined round this side. Oh, look at that. It's like the floor's alive. This is really dangerous. Like ridiculously dangerous. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I need to. You know what? There's going to be nothing in here, isn't there? Absolutely nothing. Linen cupboard. Everything's falling off the ceiling. Oh, look at here. All oh, that roof's falling away there, look. Oh, that's that big window. I've got to be careful. That's that big arched window, but yeah, look. Oh, that's fallen. So I wonder if it's collapsed into the cellar as well. Oh, look. You've got to be joking me. The stairs down to the cellar. Oh my lord. I do this every time. Every single time. I I end up almost killing myself and I could have just done it so easy. I don't mean killing myself, I mean going a different way around. But it's done now and I'm not dead. And hopefully I can get out that way now. Now there is another room at the end of here. Oh, the floor, the floor, the floor. Sometimes when I say the floor and it makes me think the floor is lava, I sometimes wish it was lava and not spongy horribleness. Oh my God, there's nothing worth seeing in here either. Apart from, like somebody has been in here because there's a can of, can of pot there. But I wonder if there was potentially easy access to this, this side of the building and then they blocked off the other side and people daren't go through the bit that's like dangerous. Look at that. I just love doing that though, when we're walking through and it's like, you can see all the decay around you as you walk through. It's just a bit creepy, isn't it? Right, let's have a look down these stairs then. Actually, before we go down, don't you think that's weird to have stairs down and then a fire there? Like you'd be burning your face off as you walked up the steps. That's really odd. Anyway, and I've also, have you seen the banister down here? It's not solid. It's just a big piece of rope, which is good. I actually think it's original like that as well. I don't, oh my God, the floor down here. Because look, that metal ring looks quite old, doesn't it? The floor down here is dead. Right, let's keep looking. I know what's happened down here. There's been a fire. I can sort of just about smell it. There's been a fire down this little bit. What a shame. If this whole house gets ruined because of that fire, if somebody's done that, oh, so annoying. Anyway, let's look. Now, I don't know where the fire is or has been, but I can definitely smell. I can smell it. I, don't, I never like the bottom step. I always feel like that one's going to be the one that breaks. Right, let me just get down this little bit first myself. 
So actually, we're not in the cellars at all. We're in another hidden bit of the bottom floor, I think. Is this where I was walking over a minute ago? No, I don't think it is. Oh. Oh, I don't know what's in here. This floor is horrendously bad. It's just like dust from the ceiling. Oh, very 1970s kitchen, kitchenette. So, not interested in that. On to the next bit up here. Now, what a total contrast to the other part of the house this is. And it just shows how quickly things can just go from amazing to terrible. And I think this drops down to the cellar. <laughs> Looking at that hole in the corner over there, I have a feeling, <gasps> oh my God, look at this. That is, there's no floor there at all. That is just carpet. <sighs> yeah, I ain't not, I'm not even gonna attempt going in there because that is bad. That is really, really, really bad. And I don't think there's anything worth looking at either. So we'll back out carefully before we end up down under that carpet. Oh, what we got this way? Now, I actually don't wanna walk over that. There's nothing worth seeing in there. I can see that from here. I don't want to go over here. I could probably step on the edge of there. In fact, let maybe try that. It's just the middle of this is squashy. And I don't know if this part goes down to the cellar or not. And I want to go down to the cellar, but on my own choice, not because I've been thrown down there. Oh, look, that's a big safe there, look, in the wall. I don't think I can get around this corner safely I wanted to look at the safe now I've seen it let me just try I've managed it not that it was worth managing because oh, proper strong smell of smoke I can't I can't walk on this floor I don't think it's worth getting over there that door does interest me but not enough to risk my life. I'm literally, I'm balancing on this at the moment. It's moving up and down. Now I've got to get back across, round, onto that hard piece of wood there, because I daren't stand on this. Back onto there, and then back up the stairs again. I'm safely round, don't panic. So I've now, the downside to that is, I've now got to go back over that really, really ropey bit where I almost felt like I was gonna fall through. I'm not going in that other room, I don't think. Cause I don't think, oh, there is furniture in there. Let me think about it. Now this has definitely been an explorer of two halves. I'm not looking forward to going back across there. Um, yeah, there's nothing in there. I thought there were a door at the end, but it's a window. What's in here? Oh, God, everything's just falling down around me. I know there's somebody biting the nails, going, Matt, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? You shouldn't be doing this. And I know you're right. On this occasion, I actually think I agree with you. I think this was possibly a bad idea. If there'd been some amazing hidden treasure in this side of the building, then yeah, I would agree with you. However, it's just a lot of burnt and damp rooms. So possibly not worth the risk. But we'll soon find out. If I get out of here, then it was probably worth the risk. If I don't get out of here, then it wasn't worth the risk. Fucking hell. Right, so I'm walking down here and something goes bang over there, which makes me think this floor might not have long left to live. And hopefully that doesn't include me because I can see down there and it's a drop and half. I might have to get rid of you again a minute while I do this. I don't know how I did it on the way through, I can't remember. See, I could just jump, but then my big fat ass jumping on there is not a good idea, but also standing here talking to you is not a good idea either. So I'm gonna get off this bit. Oh God, bloody hell. Oh God, can you hear it all moving, falling down slowly bit by bit? But yeah, look, this is in there. That's all you're going to get to see, because I'm not going in. But at least you got to look in the room. 
And now we can get back on the safe bit. Hey, also, have you noticed this? That where they're kept, the door's like felted. It's got felt on, the, on one side of it. In fact, all the way around. And it's got a big lock on it as well. That's quite interesting, isn't it? It's like a, a safe room, maybe. Where they kept, where they kept the big boxes for traveling abroad. So good. What is this for as well? Oh, is it to pull it shut? Is it like a handle? I'm not sure. Anyway, I thought it's, oh no, I'm confused now. I thought it was a door that you pulled, but actually it's part of, <gasps> did you hear that then? That's part of this floor falling underneath. Oh my God, I'm a lucky boy. Right, let's get out of this bit. I know, I know I do some silly things, but sometimes I do do risk assessments. I'm like, if I fall, I'm gonna die. No, probably not, so we'll be all right. That's a great risk assessment. I've just got two broken legs, that's fine. I'll ring someone to come and pick me up. Anyway, let's get going. Right, I'm back downstairs where that big guy, I still can't, can't stop thinking about that thing behind there. What's in it? Was it down here, the cellars? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, it was. Hang on a minute. Did I even come in? I didn't even come in here. Look in here. Look at these. Once again, these have been sat here. God knows how long, because they've still got that brown stuff all over them. Look at the stone flags as well. Not the toilet, but the... Oh, look, a gazunder as well. And look, a, a little cat man. Right. That's... Oh, what's this book? That's a massive book. Oh, Lord, don't want to break it. Oh, it's a geography, some sort of geography book. I don't want it, it's all falling to pieces. What's happening here? There's nothing in it. Oh, there is, yeah, it's, it's a big map of the world by the looks of things, but it's falling to pieces. So I don't want to damage it. What's in here? <gasps> Old telly down there. What we got in here? again then. Yeah, there's just books and stuff in here. Right. Oh, oh my lord, how did we miss these rooms? I think that's what I can hear. There's like... Is the electric on? Yeah, it is. Oh lord, look at this sink. Look at that. Let me just move these. These off them. Look at that sink. That's beautiful what the tap's like. Oh, look at that. That is wonderful. And then all the little hooks under there for like all washing the pots and things like that. Oh, it's just, it's just great. Oh look, boiler fitted Wednesday 1st of November 2000 by James Mitchell and Jackie O'Donnell. <laughs> That's a bit weird thing to have on there, but I do love that sink. I've never think, I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. It's really, really good. Uh, what else we got then in these cupboards? Candles. Oh, it doesn't open, which is a shame. And then loads of bits of pottery. That's good, what about this bottom cupboard? No, that doesn't either. I don't want to force anything, because I don't want to break it. What else we got then? I better shut this door. That was open when I got to it. I mean, shut when I got to it. Oh, I can feel cold air coming from down there. Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Look 
look at it in here. Oh my. Oh, I am lost for words. Look at this all set out. Once again, like I said, not set up by anyone. It's been like this since it was in use. You can definitely tell that. I know what those plates are. They look quite interesting. Those ones up there. Some second class stamps. And some drinks and things. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. This is mad, but look at the ceiling. And look, you can see, this is how they used to have them in the kitchens and stuff. Stuff hung up like little baskets, hung up from the ceilings and stuff as well. Oh, this is so good. What is this? <gasps> that is so heavy. That's got lead in it. What is that? W and T, Avery, Birmingham. Why would you have a piece of porcelain with lead in the middle of it? That is so heavy. What a shame though. That's just getting left. In fact, all of these things, like, I'm sure there's people out there that's watching this that would love some of these bits of pottery. There's something about those up there. I feel like they're military plates or something, or something a bit special. And I don't know why. It says, is it Pro Patria? someone then clearly I didn't pro patrick is this another one of those things <gasps> they weights aren't they look it says it on the top seven pounds imperial seven pounds i've never seen a weight that is that's got porcelain on the outside that that's brand new to me i've never seen anything like that before and there's a few of them look they're all over. Look at this, they're all set out. That ceiling's not gonna last very long at all. It's split, I think, down the middle. Just a minute. Oh no, maybe not. I thought that half had dropped. Oh, it has, it has. You can tell it has up there. And then this big beam's dropped down. Imagine the noise that made when that came down. Oh, that would have been awful. And all this lot with it. Oh, boiler in there. And then a cock. Different to the cock paintings you get on the walls in England, I'm telling you now. Um, what else? There's another door here. I'm a bit scared to go through it. There's some stuff down here. What's this? Oh, Glenfiddich. It's Glenfiddich, an old Glenfiddich tin. I feel like there's all sorts of good stuff buried. They've all been on there. Look at the size of the quality uh, street tins. They used to be massive. Now they're a quarter of that. I don't know if we're about to get through here. No, that's locked. It's not just shut, it's locked. That is crazy though. Look at that. That has really impressed me. Really, really has. That's like straight back to the 1940s, 30s. Brilliant. Do you know what this reminds me of again? It reminds me of great expect... Oh my God, can you hear stuff falling from the ceiling? I think I should probably leave this room. But yeah, great expectations where she sat in a wedding dress, sat round and the house is burning round her and falling down, the beams are falling down. Oh, look at the big serving plate things up there as well. I'm quickly escaping this room because I don't want to live here forever or die here forever. What's in there? Oh, it's Pete. I don't mean just like someone from down round corner. It's like coal. They use it in Scotland and Ireland, the peat bogs. And you burn it, like, instead of coal. It smells beautiful as well. 
Right. Finally, down the quite scary cellar. Never seen a cellar like this before. I'm guessing you had to move a big piece, that these pieces of wood to get down it, which is a bit of a pain. But I suppose it's it saves a bit of space, doesn't it? Anyway, down we go. Oh, it's quite tight, you know. Oh. Oh. What we got down here? Oh, a bit of a wine cellar. Hey, it's not as big as I expected, all this down here. I thought it was going to be a massive space. Huge oh, port. Any good bottles? Oh, I almost dropped that then. That's full. S something special. I don't think it's English. I don't know when that's from. I don't think it's that old. Oh, look. Sherry. Little sherry thing there. Uh, 1872. That's good. Madeira. I like Madeira. Port. There's one on this end. No, nothing on this end. Right, so what's through it? Surely this can't be it. I can feel cold air though. But what? Oh, that's why I can feel cold air. This is the room I couldn't get into. That corner that had fallen away. It just dropped straight down, like I said, into the cellar. But it's a bit weird. I don't understand what this bit's for. It drops down. But why? And why is there like a grill there? None of this makes sense, really. I don't really get it. And the meat hooks or whatever on the wall there. I don't know what this is that's been like fallen to pieces and smashed up. Yeah, I really expected this to be massive, this cellar, and it's actually quite tiny. Anyway, we're about done, I think. I've just noticed this that I didn't notice before. Hall door, drawing room, dining room, three library, smoking room, ladies room, ladies bedroom, bedroom one, dressing room two, bedroom three, dressing room four, Bedroom five, bedroom six, and bedroom seven. Oh, that's so good. So the servants knew where to go to. That's what the bell was for. It's just all just so good. Right, so I was just getting some photos. This floor is terrible, by the way. It's going to go through in a minute. Getting some photos, and I noticed this little chap, which I'd missed altogether. thought he might have a name on him, but he's got a bent sword in his hand, something covering his widge, and then it looks... Like a tongue. Or, or some, I don't know what it is in his hand. It looks disgusting, whatever he's holding. But, what a guy. What a guy. I can't believe I missed something else. I've just, once again, like I said, taking photographs before I leave. And those boxes that were upstairs, and it was all that same guy. And then there was the guy with the... The gun stuff was a totally different guy. Look at this. He's got his own box and I lifted the lid off it and said, oh, there's not very much in this. But Captain D. Ochenleck, Ochenleck, uh, first Illiskinning Fusiliers. That is brilliant. I think, I think that's older. I think this guy's from a generation just before the other guy. I might be wrong, but I feel like he is. And God knows, I still, still want to go back and try and work out what's in that thing. But I just I sort of know there's no point. Is there another, what's this little box under here? So you start, when you find something good, you start finding even more, because your eyes sort of open a little bit. I don't think this is anything, to be fair. I think this is modern. Yeah, it's just got newspapers in. It's very modern. It's not made out of anything good. So, anyway. Just going to have a quick scout round before we leave. Right, I've come back to have a look. Let me just put my torch down. So, I thought, is it the angle it is at that I can't get it out? And I've got my fingers under here. And it started to, it started to come. I think it's just rusted. What 
what is this in here? I can't even work it out. Right, let me open the other end of it and then we'll have a look. It's not, I'm not breaking it open. It's just, look, you can see the rust. It's sort of rusted shut. I can't get to that end in this position. Now, I'm not sure if I'm glad I opened it or not because when I didn't open it, I didn't know what was in it and it was a mystery. Now I've opened it, even though it's sort of good, it's not what I thought it was at all, like nowhere near what I thought it was. It's all a bit odd. It appears to be like some sort of Japanese furniture or something. Like some drawers or something taken, taken to pieces put into this box. It's just not what I expected. I knew it was heavy, but I thought it might be a gun. Not some black furniture, but I, I do love it, like, because it's, it's definitely old, but just, it shocked me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I'll shut it back up again, and put it back in. Now look at this that I found. Third inner skill in Fusiliers, leaving for Dunnery, 8th of August, 1914, marching along James Street uh, to the railway station. That guy, this guy, first inner skill in Fusiliers, is it the same people? Was it first or third? Oh, that's the third. Oh, so he won't be in there. I thought it might have been him. That would have been weird. Right. Just sat here. With some extra torches set up for some good photos. Just taking it all in. I just can't believe this place. I think this has been one of the best explorers for a while. Just because of the things, I've, the boxes and things I've found. It's not stuff you find every day that, especially like I said, somewhere that you can get in relatively easy like this. Now, from what I've heard, it's gonna be a lot harder soon to get in anyway, which is good. And also in addition to that, I wouldn't wanna be getting in this place if you're a local, because I think you're likely to get, get grabbed and taken away somewhere and, and seen to, but I'm lucky, I haven't got that worry, but I still have the very now worry of, I kind of need to get out of here, it's three o'clock in the morning, I've had very little sleep over the last few days, so I need to get myself off to bed, so I'm going to get my bag, I'm going to get my torches, I'm going to head out of here, it's been amazing, I will, if anything happens as I'm getting out, I'll let you know, but if I don't, I'm either dead or I'm safe. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.